Okay, so here's the Dell Venue 8 Pro beside the Nexus 7. Uh, you know the Nexus 7. This is the new one. It's the 2013 Full HD. Let me just get this set up here. So that's the Nexus 7. It's got the high res screen. You know what it's like. You've got a Nexus 5. Kit -Kat. It's got KitKat. What's got going on here? It's got Chrome. So anyway, you know how this works. It's pretty good. Runs Android apps, but the problem is when you're running apps, you're running Android versions of the apps. So you've got mobile, Facebook, blah blah blah. Of course, you can always run it in a browser, but that would be super slow. So you got your mobile, Facebook. Of course, you have Instagram. Instagram's good. It's like having a giant phone. You can see your big pictures. Blah blah blah. Pretty good. You know how it's like. Nothing special. Chrome. Pretty good. Over here, let's see what we got here. Red flags. Blah blah. Now here's the problem. You get these touch versions, which you don't really want. You want the desktop version most of the time. But of course in Android it's much you know, well, that's not bad actually, it's pretty fast this time. So you would say hot deals. Oh, got a notification. Okay, so that's on the Nexus 7, blah, blah. Not bad, right? It's usable, of course. And obviously it's a good price, and it's probably the best Android tablet on the market. Okay, so anyway, this is the Dell Venue 8 Pro. The beauty of this machine is... Let me just turn it on. Full-blown desktop 8.1. It's not, you know, gimped in any way. It's the actual desktop. Uh... Automatically syncs. You sign in with your Microsoft account, it syncs. So you see my desktops over there. It sets all my settings up. Blah blah blah. Now the beautiful part about this is, you are running the full desktop. You can run whatever you want. You want the full 8.1 Chrome. Uh, obviously, it'll sync your entire desktop if you're using Chrome. All your favorite desktops. It's like, it's like I never left except I got a little tiny version of it. There's red flags. All right. Um, Let's see what else you can use. Facebook, whatever, you're gonna get desktop versions. That's like a hundred times better uh, than using Chrome. So whatever, right? Use your chat, your feeds, blah blah blah. Yeah, so anyway. That's desktop. Um, obviously Metro. Metro is a piece of shit on the desktop because you never have touch, so what's the use unless you have a touch screen laptop, which I do also, but... So, you know, here's Metro. You can see it's pretty fast. It's good. It's usable. Very usable. Um, Internet Explorer if you don't want to use Chrome. The Metro version is actually pretty good because uh, it's touch enabled. So let's say you went to Red Flags, the same thing. Of course, you don't have a keyboard, but... Red Flag, Hot Deals... Same thing. Not bad, right? So then, you know, whatever, 12 deals of the blah, blah, blah. Same thing, zoom, push, zoom. Okay, so this is the full-blown desktop version. Now, what I like about it is you can install whatever the fuck you want. You want to put WinZip on there. You want to put, hell, you can put Photoshop on here if you're insane. I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, let's see, it comes with Office, the full-blown Office. So there's Word. See, not bad, usable, right? Blah, blah, blah. And of course, you don't have a keyboard. you got to hook up a Bluetooth keyboard if you want to be really silly and try to make it a laptop replacement, but I don't. I just like it because I know the system well. Oh, and the biggest thing is networking. So this is firing over Wi-Fi. And you'll see, because it's full-blown Windows, it sees my full network. So there you go. You've got Pam's computers, Pam's laptop, my millions of different things, two different servers. I can send shit to my WD live on my TV. So anyway, so yeah, you hit the server. Let's try server 12. So you've got everything here. Videos, photos, music, whatever. So this is going over Wi-Fi. So you can see that it's fast and very usable. And it's transparent. You don't have to do shit all. Like, no configuration, no bullshit. So let's say, you know, I want to watch uh, Dexter. Whatever. All right, full blown, straight up, nothing special, no configuring, no bullshit, no re uh, 
no transferring to your device, no micro SD. Well, you could use micro SD actually, technically, 64 gig micro SD. Let me turn on the sound. Okay, so you can see it's zoom, it's running, no problem. This is 720p version, it's streaming over the web, Wi Fi, regular plain old Wi Fi. V it's running VLC. Uh, you can just uh, jump anywhere you want. Right? Perfect. So anyway, let's get out of this. Yeah, so this is VLC running in full-blown 8.1. You can run whatever the fuck you want. You can see your entire network. Um, oh shit, I don't know what I just did. But anyway, close that. Oh, look, I tried to copy something. Fuck that. Cancel. Yeah, so I don't know what else to show you. Uh, it's full-blown Windows. You can run Excel. You can run Photoshop. You can run... Whatever the fuck you want. You want to run a VPN, you can do that. Remote desktop to your real computers, you can do that. It's uh, 1280 by 800. The screen looks great. It's IPS. Blah, blah, blah. The hardware, it's got a rubber backing similar to the Nexus. It's got these ridges, so it's like, you know, whatever. 5 megapixel camera. I don't use the cameras on my tablets. Who gives a shit? But technically, you can Skype. But really, the main draw is it's Windows. The real Windows. It's not GIMP. It's not RT. It's Windows networking. Oh, you can do them some cool shit actually. So the multitasking with uh, Metro is actually pretty good. This blows away Android too. Uh, let's just say, for example, which I do on my laptop because I've got a touch-enabled XPS 12 on my laptop. So you're on Facebook. And this is the mobile version of Facebook, basically, but it is better and more usable than the Android version. So, same thing, you've got all your contacts on the side. Uh, let's see here, I'm in a group right now. Let's go to News Feed. Try to do two things at once here. Okay, so News Feed. Okay, so you see here, it's got the News Feed, blah, blah, blah. Now what's cool is you're doing the news feed, you know, you're checking out chicks and you're doing all your favorite shit. And you can same thing, you can zoom, like, comment, blah blah blah. So anyway, it's Facebook. You know what Facebook's like. What's cool is say I was chit chatting with someone and uh I don't know. I don't have any messages. Oh I do have some messages. Okay, so here's my messages. What the hell? Mighty stone, mighty stone. Anyway. So you click on whatever, and you're chit-chatting, you're talking, right? So you can actually put this on the side. This is what I do a lot of times. I'm cheating with something. See how it's intelligent? It took away everything except for the messages because I'm multitasking. If you were to ex make this longer, then you would have extra information. You'd have the people and all the shit. So anyways, it's, it's relatively smart. So here you go. So anyways, here I am. I'm chit-chatting. I'm waiting for her response. And then on this side, I would run my desktop. Same thing, you can do the full-blown desktop, or you can surf, you can pick whatever you want. So say in this case, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna surf some more on red flags. So here you go, it runs on the side here, while your messaging is over here. So that's pretty cool. You can multitask in Metro. See how the desktop reforms and it's totally separate container? Uh, red flags again, one more time, go. This is actually kind of useful. Um, so you'd be surfing red flags here, doing whatever. And then the messaging is happening over here. So it's two, it's two separate instances, unique to each other. Um, you know, whatever, it's cool. True multitasking. You can make this bigger, and Facebook will change accordingly, and it's actually intelligent. And of course, your Internet Explorer will reflow, reflow as well. So you can do two different things at once. Um, you can make this one the primary. You can switch it back to whatever. So yeah, see how it's pretty fast, it's usable. You can switch back and forth between apps. Just like usual Windows stuff. Uh, you can run Word. So here I got Word running. Uh, just for fun, let's run Excel. Where's Excel? You can see it's pretty fast. It's pretty usable. Switch between apps. 
Excel, Word, Chrome. Oops, shit, Chrome wasn't running. But anyway, here's Chrome. Um, switch between the apps. Facebook, mobile, Chrome. Actually, we can use real Facebook for fun on Chrome. Um, what else is there? I don't have a lot of shit installed, but you get the idea. You just basically, the whole point is you're running full blown Windows. You can multitask. You can hit your network like nothing. You can print, of course. You just hit print and it'll find your network printer and print. This is infinitely more usable than this. This is just a big phone. Literally a big version of your Nexus 5. And then when you want to use apps, like the VLC is gimped, 1080p struggles a little. Wi Fi streaming is definitely pushing it on an Android tablet. Um, oh, I can show you Instagram. Some people might say you need Instagram. So anyway, they don't have Instagram for Metro yet, but they have their own app, which is called InPick. Where is it? Right here. This is actually better than Instagram on your phone because check it out. You can see like, so here's your timeline. Oh, look at this beautiful. So you see like this girl, you hit it. You can hit like. You can save the picture right away. That's not easy to do in Instagram. Uh, let's see, you can hit her. Look at look at the speed of this. If you're surfing Instagram, you hit next, 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 and you're going through your feed. Popular or whatever, right? Blah blah blah. See Instagram, you got to scroll. It's actually not that fast. This app is actually probably better than in the real Instagram. Um. Oh, let me show you Facebook. The mobile Facebook is quite usable. I have it running here already somewhere. Look at all the shit I have running. If you want to close apps, you just go from the top and string it down. Bye bye. Bye bye word. Uh, Facebook. Okay. This Facebook is cool because it has features that the desktop version and the Android version does not have. So say you want to look at your friends. I'm looking for someone to find. It does it by pictures. I fucking love that. So here's all my beautiful friends. I got lots and lots of beautiful friends. You just scroll through, pick whoever, or you can search. So say I want to find my friend, uh, I don't know, someone further away, like Mercedes. So you would say M E R. See how it just like gives you all the girls that are with Mercedes. So the one I want is Mercedes Espinosa. That's one of my friends. Yeah, so that's cool. That's Facebook Windows app. Uh, that's actually kind of better than the desktop app and definitely better than the Android app. Just because it's cool to see all your friends, you know. Oh, look, there's so and so. I haven't seen her in a while. And then you click her. Um, anyway, so that's like a quick overview. There's a notification here. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. You can see the speed is very usable. It's not going to replace your desktop. That's what your desktop is for. It's not going to replace your laptop. That's what your laptop's for. But already I can see that I'm already using it more than my Nexus 7, which is pretty much useless in some ways, unless you want a big version of your phone. Uh, but I'm not going to be playing Angry Birds. I mean, that's done and dead. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Obviously, it does not do phone functions, it's a computer after all. Uh, battery life is good, so far I've never killed it, but on, online everyone's saying five to eight uh, hours, which is comparable for tablet use. Uh, let's see what else I can do here. Basically the fact that it's full-blown Windows rocks. It's 32 gigs, comes, you maybe you got 11 usable when you get it and you install your, all your updates. Uh, it's got a micro SD slot, so you can add 64 gigs more uh, storage if you need to, but come on, it's content consumption. I'm centrally, I've got everything on multiple servers, so you can see here, I mean, my Shy Server 12's got, I don't know, 20 gig, 20 terabytes on it, and my Shy Server 2's got another 15, so there's maybe 30 terabytes centrally served to all, all my computers. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. But yeah, it's pretty, it's good. Basically, it's really good. Um, and it's cheap. I got it for $199. It retails for $299, but I'm sure Boxing Day will be $199 again. And it's, well, I can give you some more comparisons. Let's take this 7 out of here. Hold on. Take it out of the case. This case, in, incidentally, is pretty good. It's got the same thing as, uh, 
uh, I guess the iPads. It's got magnets and those went to turn on and off from the case. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let me take it out of here. Okay, so I can take it out of here and show you. So you can see the Nexus 7 is slightly smaller than the 8, but not by a lot. It's pretty good. Thickness wise, the 7 is probably about the same. The 8 might be like, I don't even know, barely thicker. Um, tell you the truth, the Nexus 7 is a very solid feeling machine. But the 8 actually feels just as good, if not better. Maybe lighter. Hmm. So anyway, I got this for $199. Nexus 7 actually costs more. I'm going to sell this for an easy 200 as a 32 gig version. And uh, I won't even look back. I won't miss any of my Android because I've got it on my phone. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Next. Dell Venue 8 Pro, the first tablet that I'm actually saying is good for the price, and full window was 8.1, just blows everything else away.